Hello and welcome. My name is Daniel Ball, the Head of Digital Engagement at the Lee Academies Trust. Today we're going to be looking at how to use Google Forms to book appointment slots at parents evening. Now this is a specific application for this tool, but it can be used for many different things where you want to eliminate the choices as the form develops. So let's head over to our form. So if I type forms.new in my Omnibar, I'm going to open up a new form. So I'm just going to name the form Parents Evening Slots and save that. So obviously you've got to think about some of the other questions you might want. So name of student, for example. We're going to have that as a short answer. We're going to have that as required as well. i add another question. So I might want parent name, for example. Obviously you've got to think about what you, information you want. Um, if I may want an email address. Now, bearing in mind, when you're sending this out to parents, they're not going to have Google accounts. So one of the things you've got to think about is how do you get their email. So I'm, make, I'm not going to make this required, but if I click on the dots, I'm going to click on response validation. And here I can choose the text option. And under this, there's an email address option. And this means when they type this in, it must be an email address. So the next question I'm going to put in is the actual choices question. So I'm going to call this time slots. And with this, I need to use it as a drop down question. It won't work with other types of question. I think there's been some problems recently with this tool that I'm going to show you, but I think a lot of that is based around the fact that people are trying to use different types of question. Okay, so I'm going to put my slots in. So I'm going to put 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., for example. Okay, again, I'm going to make that required because I need them to book a slot. So once I've got all this, I'm going to go into my add-ons. The add-on I'm looking for is called Choice Eliminator 2. If you don't have the add-on, if you click on the three dots, go to add-ons, and you can do a search here, and here's Choice Eliminator 2. So once that's installed, so as I said, click on add-ons, click Choice Eliminator 2, and then you want to click the configure option. Occasionally I've done this and the configure option isn't available. And, but I found if you just refresh the form, uh, refresh the browser here, then the configure option will appear. So I'm going to click configure and this loads up choice eliminator two. You might see here is a note from the author just reminding us again to make sure that we use the drop down question and not other types of question to make sure this tool works well. So the first option here is I'm connecting with, with a data sheet, which although I haven't connected, created that yet, here is my data sheet. So I might want to create that now. So I'm going to click create. And my data sheet is created. As you can see on my sheet, the name of the tab is form responses one. And if I go back into my form, I can see here, this is the data sheet that's trying to use. The next option then is to look at which of the questions I want it to refer to. This is the only one that it will pick up because I haven't got any other types of questions that it can link to. So I've got my time slots and I want to click this button that says eliminate choices. So now that's created. If I click on choice options, I can also choose the limits on how many people can book on each slot. So actually if I want, if I could see five people at four o'clock, then I can change that to five. So that will then count down as I do it. So I've closed that. So I'm then going to preview my form. I'm going to put my name in there. I don't need any others at the moment. So here I'm going to choose five o'clock as my time. I click submit and my time is booked. So if I go back into the form again, click on the time slots, and I can see that five o'clock is, is no longer available. One last quick little tip is you might also want to use the form notifications option as a way of just notifying the people of the receipt of their booking. So this would notify myself, and also I can send a thank you email to the people uh, who have made the booking as well. 
So I really hope this is helpful for you and do leave some comments below if you've got any other questions. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, write in the comments below, or share this with others.